In Compose, one of the most important concept is recompositions. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the ways to debug and find out why composables are recomposing and when. Salam alaikum friends, and welcome back to the channel, always with Yunus Shafiri. Let's get started with some recompositions. So here in this project, I have a very simple application. I have a text here, and this text presents lambda whenever it's clicked. So we are changing that text using this observable or this state. If you run the project here, you will see it's a very simple project. So here you can see we have a text, and once we clicked on it, right, you click on it, you are getting the current time it is, right? There is a reason why I'm putting it inside another composable, so I can show you one of the ways. So the first way to know that this is recomposing is to use the layout inspector, right? You can press here for the layout inspector, you want this one, wait for it to add to the process. So here sometimes things are collapsed, so you can navigate to the things here, right? So if I start clicking, you will see there is this composition. You can click here to do show compose or show recomposition scuffed. So whenever I click on it, it is recomposing, okay? And you can see here some kind of effect happening, okay? This is one way you can do this. There is actually another way which is posted also on Stack Overflow, how to detect what is causing recomposition. Now this is actually a different thing. What is causing recomposition and knowing that there is a composition is a different thing. You are going to get there. There is one critical or lovely class I, I saw here, which is recomposition highlighter. This is a code you can copy and paste, right? I will put the link in the description. So what you'll have, you will have something like that. Recomposition highlighter, right? This is the code and it is using the compose modifier. Yeah, it is using the compose modifier. This is critical. So it will be just a time of the recomposition. Okay, this is a lot of code here. I won't go to this code in here. But the beauty here, you can add another modifier for your thing that you want to understand why it is recomposing or whether it is recomposing or not. Okay, so you can do recompose highlighter like the following. Once you rerun your application, perhaps you want to use this one whenever you are developing the feature and once it is done and stable, you can remove this one, right? The beauty is that when you click on this one, when you click on the text, it will start drawing stuff. If I click on more on it, it will start drawing a rectangle and this will get bigger and bigger whenever there are more recompositions. So I don't have to open any layout inspector and notice them directly there. I can only use this modifier for the thing, especially if you have a long list and there is what we call it lazy column. So you can add to one element and you can see it visually. Even if you are not caring about recomposition, you are going to see that something is not normal because once you start seeing this rectangle and it will get until the red, you will see it is recomposing a lot. Okay, this is a cool visual effect you can do. All right, this is the way, one of the ways to know that this one is recomposing. Okay, it is recomposing, but why it is recomposing? It's because of this text, it's because of another thing, so you want to debug also why it is recomposing. One of the cool things directly, since you are using Android, I'm using here Android Studio, this one, Guano, right? If you are using Hedgehog, something like that, I think this is also feasible. You can just add a debug here, right? And rerun it with the debug. You can skip the first iteration or the first time in the debug mode. Okay, if this is the beginning. The first time it will run, it will be here. You can skip it, right? And of course, you are knowing you are working with your composable. Once we click on it, it will re-execute here. One of the things you are going to see here is something called recomposition state. Uh, it will tell you the composable, this one argument different. The text is different and on click is the same as the previous one. So the decision will be to recompose it, okay? So you know that there is a problem of this text string here. So you know, ah, okay, it is changing because you are changing this, it makes sense. But sometimes you will see something weird and then of course you have to find a solution because the purpose here is just to give you tools so you can find out what is recomposing okay that's a good thing this is a good one but again you have to use debugger you have to wait for debugger and everything there is actually a much better solution to that so you don't have to do that there is actually a good also library that is called rebugger okay it is by the apache this cool guy good project so this is simple thing you add just this implementation detail right and then for all for all your composables that you want to track why they are changing you just add this composable function called rebugger and the, the main important thing here is that you need to give it some of the things to track so it will tell you which of those things that you are tracking cause the recomposition the beauty also you can do this without any debug thing right you can use directly the rebugger and here you can give it a map of and you start giving it the things that you need to track 
and these things are the source of recomposition, okay? The beauty is that even if you don't give it the thing that caused the recomposition, it will tell you, hey, it was recomposed, but I don't know the reason. And it will tell you, like here, you can see it here in the, in the code, recompose, right? But the reason is unknown. Are you sure you've added all the parameters to track map? Okay, implementation is fine, it's pretty simple, it's just using the side effect and uh, similar stuff, but it is really clever. And again, you can use it in the moment you are creating your composable, in debugging it, of course, and the moment of development, and once it, everything is stable, you can remove it. Same thing as this one, okay? I have already created this one. So here is an example of this one. I'm tracking the text and the callback. I can rerun it, and you don't have to wait for anything. You can just run your project and just go to the locket to see what is happening. I can go to look at and I will delete everything. Okay, you can see rebugger is activated. Once I click on it, you will see, hey, rebugger recomposed because text changed from this one to this one. This is actual beauty. You can do the same exact thing. It's recomposed because from this one to this one. And now since you know the reason, you can go to dig why something is happening, whether it is intentional or not intentional, and from there you can whether optimize or not. I actually made another video about composed performance. You can check it, I think, in the above, right, in the cards. So this is pretty much it about this video. Again, in order to find out whether things are recomposing or not, you can use this recompose highlighter. This is a cool one. Or you can use layout inspector. This is also fine, it's good. And then to understand why things are recomposing, you can either use this rebugger, this one of musing, and also you can add some things here about debugging. So in the debugger, it will tell you that there is a recomposition state. Previously, it wasn't added. Now it is added in the new Android studios. It will tell you things that changed, and then you can see how you can solve it. This is pretty much it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. If you didn't subscribe to my newsletter, which is about productivity for developers, please join the link in below. And thank you very much, and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.